The University of Bath Students' Union has released a statement withdrawing its support for students attending a national demo due to health and safety concerns. On Wednesday the 19th of November, thousands of students are expected to take to the streets of London to protest against increasing tuition fees ahead of the general election in May 2015. The National Union of Students has released a statement outlining the lack of safety measures in place for this demonstration. Following this, the President of the Students' Union, Jordan Kenny, stated that the Students' Union would continue to support the principles of free education, but not through a demonstration that continues to have outstanding safety concerns. A referendum on whether the Students' Union should support this demonstration was held two weeks ago, and the overwhelming majority of voters were in favour. However, due to a turnout of only 108 students, the poll has been considered undemocratic, and the Students' Union has been criticised for the lack of promotion of this poll. What do you think of the Student Union's decision to withdraw support for the National Student Demo? Um, I think with the statement that they issued, they haven't really been that clear on whether they're going to support it or not. So they've, they've said that they're not going to support it for now, but they, they've said if they receive information and a risk assessment that's up to date from the demo organisers, then they will reconsider their position. But the demo organisers haven't been in contact and I know Jordan has like tried to chase them up on it but they just haven't got back to him so it's kind of a bit in the air about whether they will support it or won't support it. We also chatted to SU President Jordan Kenny. Do you think that the Students' Union's stance on this issue will change within the next week? So we're week today mm -hmm. is the demo in London. Um, the, the current stance from the Students' Union is that we, based on the indicative poll that was undertaken, we will support free education locally and resource it where we can when it's safe. Now, I'm not going to give the background because I'm sure there'll be background to this anyway, but actually the stance we have is based on not having adequate risk evaluation, not having mitigation for certain liberation groups and our umbrella body, the National Union of Students, not supporting it. Yesterday marked the close of an indicative poll gauging student support for staff industrial action. Carried out by the Students' Union, results will indicate whether students should back staff members involved with the university and college union who are striking in response to the University UK group proposing changes to pensions. The industrial action in question consists of a marking boycott of indefinite length that began on the 6th of November. The stance of the university is that any member of staff who takes part in the boycott will receive a pay cut of 25% in effect for however many days they take part in the industrial action. The university is of the opinion that this 25% pay cut is representative of the amount of time those involved in the industrial action would have spent marking and assessing. However, the UCU claims that this figure is arbitrary. We spoke to a UCU representative to see what he had to say on the matter. We're asking students uh, to join us in the demand for our employers to talk sensibly and meaningfully about what they're planning to do to our pensions and come to some negotiated solution on that. That's what we want. There's a meeting in London today and students can help us with that by talking to us about it. You know, we're all happy to talk about what's going on and also by contacting your students' union and tell me what you think. I think you've got a poll on at the moment um, and expressing your support for us or contacting the Vice-Chancellor and tell, the Vice-Chancellor, uh, she's actually a director of the Pension Fund as well, gets paid uh, for doing that on top of her, her, um, her day job as Vice-Chancellor. So she's in a fairly influential position and we know how much importance she attaches to the student voice so we hope students will say it loud and clear to defend staff pensions. We also asked various students on campus what their opinion on the industrial action was and how it would affect them. So do you think that we as students should support staff in their uh, industri industrial action? No, because this is a marking boycott that lasts on for a week. If they have proper industrial action and strike for two days, that's fine. But if this is just marking for us for two weeks, I would like to have my work marked on time. I don't have the excuse to hand in my work two weeks late because I went to a demonstration. Why should they have an excuse to mark it two weeks late? I'm here outside the Sports Training Village where on Saturday the University hosted its second Disability Sports Day in conjunction with Youth Sport Trust. Throughout the day, a variety of activities were available for people to come and try, such as wheelchair basketball, adaptive rowing and seated volleyball. 
Members of the local community, such as Bristol Bison's Wheelchair Basketball Club, Three Way School and Leonard Ch Cheshire also participated. Paralympians Ben Rushgrove and Kate Gray also made an appearance and supported the event. Things are looking positive for more such events in the future and Sports Officer Ben Jessup was positive about the day. How have you found the day then so far? It's been fantastic, really, really good. Um, got really good turnout from the community. There's a lot of people who've come down, got a lot of kids come down from some of the schools and some of the community centres as well. So no, it's, it's going well. How are you finding today? Today is great. So I, I came to university here um, like a good few years ago now and I was an athlete when I was here so I only really appreciated using the facilities for my own sport and what I wanted to do but it's great to see it being used in so many different ways and for like a group of young people that have been involved through the Inclusive Futures programme that they can come here and try out the facilities and it's not so focused around competitivity it's just about them having fun and getting involved. How do you feel about today? Oh, it's going really well today. Um, I'm really impressed that so many people from the community have turned up uh, the students, they're still getting out of bed I think at the moment, uh, but hopefully they'll be here soon uh, to give everybody you know, a run for their money. Um, I've just finished playing the wheelchair basketball which again this year is really popular. We ran this last year, this was our, kind of our showcase event last year, the wheelchair basketball. It went really well and this year is no exception.